Learn Helplessness and Victim Mindset. You might have never heard about learned helplessness, but you've probably heard about victim mindset. These two things are related. In today's video, we will talk about what learned helplessness is and how to recognize if you have a victim mindset. You will also learn seven solutions on how to break out from this detrimental mentality in order to achieve your goals and enjoy your life. I am a psychologist. People come to me when something is not going right in their lives. Often I hear questions like, how can I stop being weak? How do I start believing in myself? How can I become a confident person? By the end of this video, you will not only know the answers to these questions, but you will also recognize the triggers that are making you weak, helpless, and you will learn how to overcome them. Before we start, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! On this channel, I help you to become happier, healthier and more successful in life. Every week I release a new video about self-esteem, relationships, money, self-love, limiting beliefs and all other essential topics that will help you to achieve your goals and enjoy your life. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe right now so you won't miss my next video on another important topic. And if you are in a difficult situation and would like to receive my professional advice, pause the video right now and type your question in the comments. I will be happy to help. This is a great opportunity for you to receive my professional guidance free of cost. So be brave, share your question in the comments, and remember that your happiness depends on you. And if you're new to my channel, I have a gift for you. If you want to receive five free self-development webinars, five free guided meditations, and five free healing exercises, then check the link below and visit elenasemenek.com slash free. So let's get back to today's topic, learned helplessness and victim mindset. Stress is a part of our life. If you want to achieve something, whether it's a good career or a profound relationship, you will experience some disappointments, maybe regrets and maybe some pain on your way. Setbacks, trials and failures are part of life. We are human. We do hurt each other, often without even recognizing it. We all have flaws and we all make mistakes. This is a part of our life journey. How you react to these negative moments determine the final result. If you give up on yourself, then the chance of you being satisfied with your life is relatively small. If you keep going and pursue your dream, then you will have lots of incredible stories that you can share with your grandchildren. You will have lots of amazing, touching memories that you can share during a nice holiday dinner with your spouse, your friends or your kids. You cannot control everything that is happening in your life, but you can control how to respond to those things. So, how do you know if you are falling into a victim's mindset or you've developed learned helplessness? Let's start with clarifying the difference between learned helplessness and victim mindset. Learned helplessness is a strong belief, a strong feeling inside of you on a deep level that you are weak and unlucky in life. This type of person truly believes that no matter what they do, they cannot change the situation. So why bother? The person strongly believes that they cannot find a good job because they don't have good education or because all the positions are already filled. A person believes that they cannot find a soulmate because they're not good enough or because they're too old or they have an extra few pounds and believe that no one will love them. The person believes that life does not treat them well 
and that no matter what they do, they cannot achieve the result. They believe that people are selfish and often dishonest. The difference between victim's mindset and learned helplessness is that victim's mindset is usually based on a specific traumatic event in childhood. For example, it can be a sexual or physical abuse. Another example, a child had to go through a loss of a parent or a divorce. Now let's talk about learned helplessness. Learned helplessness is also based on negative upbringing, but in most cases it relates to mental abuse. For years, from early childhood to adulthood, parents were telling their children that he or she cannot do anything on their own. When a child was doing something, it was never good enough. The message that the child received sounds like, you're going to fail, don't even try, this is too hard for you, you're not smart for this task, you are sloppy, you are embarrassing me. A parent or parents criticized almost everything the child has done. Another scenario when a person develops a learned helplessness is when parents place unrealistic expectations on them. Parents might not verbally criticize the child, but the child knows that he is not good enough. The child knows what the parent wants, but the expectations are too high. The tasks are not achievable. So a child learns that no matter what they do, they cannot fulfill their parents' expectations. The child becomes helpless. A boy or a girl sees disappointment in their parents' eyes and believes that they are a failure. A child is living in this mentality through their entire childhood. That is why it's called learned helplessness. This is a fake belief that there is something wrong with me. I am weak. I am a failure. No matter what I do, I cannot succeed. This belief becomes so strong and self-disappointment hurts so much that the person stops even trying to pursue their goals. Often victim mindset and learned helplessness come together. Uh, for simplicity of this video, let's uh, use these two terms as synonymous. Let's assume that they are the same thing and talk about how to recognize that you've developed learned helplessness or are fallen into a victim's mentality. So let's talk about six signs of learned helplessness and victim mindset. Sign number one, you don't believe in yourself. You don't acknowledge your own skills and positive qualities. You may call yourself average or below average. You don't believe that you can be successful and therefore you don't even try. Sign number two, you ask why a lot. Why does everything in my life have to be so hard? Why did this happen to me? Why can't people just leave me alone? Why life is unfair to me? Sign number three, you constantly criticize yourself. You feel that you don't deserve good things because you're not good enough. You're not smart enough, not skinny enough, not pretty enough, not lucky enough. You are not enough in general. Before we talk about the next sign, I would like to invite you to my happiness club that I created for people just like you who want to learn how to become confident how to boost their self-esteem and how to achieve their goals. And just because you dedicated your time to watch this video, I am going to give you a special offer. Check the link below the video. It will take you only a few seconds to join the club and you will have instant access to my entire healing database that includes guided meditation, self-development webinars, life coaching techniques, art therapy, and much more. The link is below the video. So let's get back to today's topic. Six signs of learned helplessness and victim mindset. Sign number four, you often feel angry. You are often resentful to other people's suggestions or solutions. When you tell people about your problem, they may offer some solutions. Unfortunately, you have to reject them 
because they sound like they don't really understand your situation. You feel that they don't understand what you're going through and therefore their ideas are not going to work. Sign number five, you feel jealous of other people's successes. When a co-worker gets a bonus, you feel angry because the boss decided to give this bonus to them and not to you. Another example is when you and your female friend hang out in the bar and she gets men's attention and not you. This makes you angry. Why do they look at her and not notice you? You might feel that people are stupid or maybe blind because they don't notice you and they don't value you. And finally, sign number six, you feel shame. First, you feel angry and then you feel ashamed of being angry. You don't allow yourself to make mistakes. You have extremely high expectations for yourself. You don't accept any of your failures. You are ashamed of every little thing that you do wrong. Do any of these signs sound familiar to you? If so, let's talk about how to overcome learned helplessness and stop being a victim. Today I'm going to share seven things, um, I should say seven steps that you can take to stop treating yourself as a victim. If you want to see fast and stable results, then do all seven things. Do not think that you can do only one or two things. You've lived in this helpless mentality for years. This victim mindset has been embedded in your psyche. So if you want to stop being a victim and become a confident person, you should do all seven things. Let's start. Take a notebook and write down. Step number one, create small goals every day. If you are used to the idea that you can't finish things or you can't be successful, it is extremely important for you to make small steps. You have to reteach your mind that you can succeed. Buy yourself a paper calendar and write one to three goals every day. For example, it can be things like call a doctor, call a friend, go to the gym or buy groceries. Make sure that all things are easy and doable. Do not write more than three goals a day. I would like to urge you to hand write down your goals in a paper calendar and place a mark upon completion. The check mark will be your visual signal to your brain saying, yes, I did it. So for at least 30 days, every day, write one to three small goals in your paper calendar. Step number two, how to overcome learned helplessness and stop being a victim is every day, write three to five things that you did better today than yesterday. Again, you have to teach your brain that you can be successful. The goal of this exercise is to overcome your limiting self-beliefs. It is very important to write your successes on paper. By writing them down, you're using your hand and your body. By writing down, you're slowing down your thinking process and allowing the information to penetrate into a deeper subconscious level. You're also using your visual senses. So when you are writing down, your eyes will follow the letters on the paper, making this exercise even more effective. So the exercise is every day for the next 21 days, write three to five small things that you did better today than yesterday. For example, today I brushed my teeth better than yesterday. Today, I make a better ponytail than yesterday. Today, I woke up 15 minutes earlier. Today, I wash dishes before going to bed. If you focus on small things, then you can easily come up with three to five things every day. Let's move on. Step number three, how to overcome learned helplessness and stop being a victim is 
start giving to others. When you do nice things and kind things to others, people will be grateful. You will hear nice words in return. People will thank you and this will boost your self-esteem. Being in a victim mindset, you're used to thinking negatively about yourself and about people. By giving to others, even small things like holding the door or letting a person go in front or even thanking the cashier in a supermarket will lighten your day. You will see a spark in people's eyes and hear words of appreciation. Little by little, you're going to embed a different message, a different blueprint in your mind that says people are nice. People are grateful. I am being valued. I am being respected and I am being loved. This is about the balance of giving and receiving and start testing this idea by giving first. Be the good one. Be the nice one. Just knowing that you are the person who does good for others will make you feel good about yourself. So your perception that life is unfair to you will switch the moment you feel satisfaction from seeing gratitude in other people's eyes and hearing words of admiration. Let's move on. Step number four, how to overcome learned helplessness and stop being a victim is stop comparing yourself with others. If you catch yourself thinking that another person is doing better, rephrase your thought. Instead of thinking he is better than me, say he is good at XYZ. For example, instead of saying she has a better job, say she knows how to find a good job. Instead of saying she looks better than me, say she takes care of herself very well. Soon you might catch yourself believing that you are surrounded by beautiful, successful people. We all have mirror neurons that force us to copy each other's beliefs, habits, and thoughts. So when you are saying positive things like she knows how to take care of herself, you are activating these mirror neurons by sending a signal to your brain that says it is good to take care of oneself. Now your brain has to come up with a necessary step how to implement these ideas in your life. So instead of rejecting and pushing away people, try to rephrase your thoughts and instead of saying he or she is better than me, say he or she is good at. And as a result, pretty soon, instead of being jealous and angry, you will notice that you want to ask your friend to share what she does to achieve what she has. Try it out. And step number five, we have total seven steps, so I was supposed to say step number five, how to overcome learned helplessness and stop being a victim, is make a gratitude journal. This way, instead of focusing on things that you don't have, you will force your brain to focus on things that you do have. Every day, write down at least one thing that you're grateful for. And by doing this daily, you will see that your list is getting bigger. Your list is getting longer. And I have a separate video uh, called Gratitude Journaling. In that video, I'm teaching you how to uh, keep your journal. And I'm telling, explaining how this uh, journaling helps you to overcome your limiting belief. So just type my name, Elena Semenek, and Gratitude Journaling and find it on YouTube. I'm also uh, going to leave a link somewhere here and in the description of this video. Let's move on. Sign number six, how to overcome learned helplessness and stop being a victim is work on forgiveness. This is not an easy one, but a very important step towards freeing yourself from your past. Think about who are you resenting in your life. Some people have suppressed anger towards their parents. Some people might hold grudges about their ex-partners. You might have some pain towards your college classmate or in an old neighbor who was rude to you. Or maybe you need to forgive yourself for something that you did or did not do. 
we all have flaws. No one is perfect. We have our moods and our emotions and we do stupid things sometimes. Let's be honest, we can even hurt people that we love without realizing it. And then we cannot forgive ourselves. So if you blame yourself often, if you criticize yourself often, if you catch yourself having negative self-talk, then you definitely should work on self-forgiveness. Journaling and doing guided meditations can really help on this one. And by the way, in my happiness club, I have a big section on guided meditations. Your special offer is waiting for you. So check the link in the video description. And finally, step number seven, speaking about forgiveness, step number seven to break out of this victim mindset and learn helplessness is to find a mentor, a therapist, a psychologist, or a life coach. A therapist will help you to notice and acknowledge your triggers that are drawing you into this detrimental mentality. A professional person will support you and challenge your detrimental beliefs about yourself. A therapist will help you to reprogram your belief system and heal your emotional trauma. A specialist will help you to be aware of your patterns, understand why you have them, and create a custom set of exercises to overcome your learned helplessness. I highly recommend doing all seven steps. Doing them with a therapist will expedite your result and make your healing journal smoother. And by the way, I do offer private sessions as well. I am going to leave the link in the description as well and somewhere here on top. Please let me know in the comments which tips resonates with you the most and why. Now you know the seven signs of learned helplessness and seven ways to break out of them. Ask your questions in the comments, share your thoughts, share if this uh, tips is something that you tried before and how was it for you. And once again, I invite you to join my happiness club where you can learn how to become happy, confident and a successful person. If this video was helpful, give me a like and share it with your friends and family. I would really appreciate it. Write your questions in the comments. I will be happy to share my professional opinion with you. And remember, your happiness depends on you. And if you don't write your question, if you don't ask, I won't be able to help. And I'm here for you. I created this channel, Psychology of Happiness, for you. This is my mission, my passion, and my goal. So check out the links in the video description. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next important video. Bye!